Hello everyone and welcome to my video lesson for the Silver Chair Song Fault Line. I'd originally done this uh, lesson lesson on my other channel and uh, that was incredibly low quality, very dark and not really explained very well so I'm gonna redo that one on this channel and hopefully it'll be a much better explanation of how to play this song. <clears throat> So, um, if your guitar is in drop D tuning, let's get started. Now, the intro to the song <clears throat> is very short and then it runs straight into the, the first verse. But the intro goes like this. Uh, starts out with the open, uh, open A and D strings. Like that. And uh, while they're ringing out, you go to the 8th fret, bar the low E, A, and D strings with your first finger. With your third finger, you're going to go to the 10th fret on the G, and with your pinky finger, 11th fret on the B for that particular chord. So anyway, you're going to do the open A and D, and I always keep my fingers in place just to make it easier but we'll do the open A and D and then start with the low E and work your way up the chord like so so just do the the low E the A and then the rest so keep that same chord grip but slide down to the 5th fret with the bar and uh, the other two fingers in the same spot. So once again, up to the 8th. And that's the intro. And it goes straight into the chorus. Or, sorry, straight into the first verse. Now the first verse, <coughs> well, the first riff, goes, it's, it's mostly open chords and it starts with the open D chord, which is, excuse me, which is the <clears throat> second fret G, third fret B, second fret high E, like this. And uh, this is how it's going to strum out. Now, if you can see what I did there, drop your pinky on the third of the high E for that. Let it go for the normal D chord. Pull your middle finger up off of the high E and then back down. So quicker it goes like this. Not too bad. And then you start with a normal C chord, which is third fret A, second fret D, open G, first fret B. But in this part of the song, you drop your pinky down on the high E on the third fret. It's almost like a C add nine, but not quite. So, once again, we'll go to the D. And that's how the strumming pattern goes. Two quick ones, stop it with your palm and then let it ring out again. Now there's a little run, and uh, this goes, start on the high E, hit the third, and then pull off your pinky, open, hit the first fret on the B, and then open, hammer on the first, and then um, you keep the, the C chord grip, hit the uh, D and G strings like this. Sorry, like this. So, it might be a little confusing, but slowly it goes like this. And actually, if you keep this grip, it'll, it'll work itself out a lot easier for you, so. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble doing this part for some reason, but let's do it again. So that's how that little run goes. 
And then we actually do a full C add nine. Third fret A, second fret D, <clears throat> open G, third B, third high E. Like that. So starting again with the D. So that was a little sloppy, but you get the idea. So after the little run, it goes to the C hat 9. And the same kind of strumming. Two strums, mute it with your palm, and then ring it out. Then he slides up to that first chord from the intro. Bar the 8th, 10th <clears throat> and 11th with your, with your um, ring and pinky fingers. And then slide down to the 5th of that chord. And then it repeats. So this is basically the verse riff slowly. At this point, you go back to <clears throat> the 8th, but instead of going down to the 5th, he slides up. So, it's actually the 10th. Back to the 8th again, and back to the 5th. And that's the point where the distortion kicks in with the, with the uh, chorus riff. So the chorus riff is basically all one finger power chords, and pretty easy and it usually consists of um, the chord being strummed with two palm mutes in between and then again so I'll try to show you what I mean by that but it starts off at the third fret so it goes third then fifth then open like so and this is where the the pattern starts out so it's open like that, second and third, and same palm muting pattern, two open chugs, first fret, and then eighth, and then fifth, and then there's a little run that goes um, 5th, 7th hammer on, and then 5th open pull off on the A, like so. And then <clears throat> open again. Second and third again. This time it goes up to the 5th. 8th, 5th, 8th, 10th, 8th, 5th, 3rd, 5th, and then that's, uh, I don't know if it's still part of the chorus riff, but uh, it's sort of a, kind of a tail end of the chorus riff, but it goes like this. So open a few times, slide up to the 7th, 8th, 5th, and then that little run. And then eighth and tenth to end it. So all together, it'll sound like this. From the, from the very first point that the distortion kicks in, this is what it's gonna sound like.
like that. And then it goes back into the chorus riff, back into that riff. Only the second time you go through that riff, <clears throat> when he goes from the eighth to the tenth, then there's a little, there's a few little chugs, but it'll be like uh, two opens, two opens, a th uh, one at the third, two at the fifth, and then open again, so to be. And then back into the, this riff. And at the end of that, you'll hear that again. Only this time it just rings open. <clears throat> so what follows is like a bridge riff. And uh, it's fairly simple. So it'll be open, three chugs, five, four, three, three chug, three chug, five. So just keep repeating that. is a point where there's a, a really fast background riff going on but the main riff sort of goes so what that is is uh, open slide up to sixth fifth third open second third chug and uh, a C chord or a C power chord, third on the A, fifth and fifth on the D and G. So it it goes like this. And as the fast riff goes on in the background, you'll hear a change and then open again. <clears throat> now the fast riff is something that I can't personally play up to speed but I can show you how it's played slowly and then you can work it up to speed yourself so um, it's really simple as most of the album is so it starts off um, let me just uh, let me just play it through so you can get an idea and then I'll explain which frets and, and things that I'm using That was really sloppy, but it's uh, it's like open and then two opens, fifth open twice, third open three opens, and then third hammer on the fifth, and then third on the A. So that goes through three times. On the fourth time, you go third, fifth hammer on, third, fifth hammer on the A. So. And that repeats over and over again, basically until the end of the song. And there is a part where you hear them go very quickly through to this riff. And that's, that's it. So, um, I hope I explained this a lot better than my previous video, and I hope it was nice and clear for you to see. And uh, let me know if I need to redo any any uh, lessons from my old channel, and uh, I'll see if I can get them done in better versions. But thanks for watching this one, guys. I appreciate it, and I uh, hope you learned something on Silverchair's riffs, and appreciate the view. Take it easy.